<laughs> Hello, I'm Lisa Bowerman and I play Bernie Summerfield and welcome to Audio Heads Podcast. Hello and welcome to Geeks Assembled. This is Audio Heads, our, our very own product of... Uh, of desiring to listen to a bunch of really cool audio adventures, mostly produced and directed by the Big Finish team. This week we review uh, the wonderful Unbound Universe and uh, Bernie Summerfield in The Adventures of Bernie Summerfield number three, The Unbound Universe. So um, we got. F three other fellows and myself here today and we would like to share with you our opinions and our and our and our praise or, or our you know panning this 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 adventure so please uh turn your attention to mr tim wells what did you think of this wonderful piece of stuff hi sweet i thought it was good i think um this is as far as Benny is concerned, this is about her 18th or 19th uh, series since since they've been doing these. So it was a good idea for her to do something different. Uh, this is the third in the new adventures with Bernie Summerfield. Um, and they really do kind of tie it in with Doctor Who quite a bit. Um, but this time they've done something different. And she goes off with the alternative third doctor. Uh, <laughs> Who's who's you know we, we've we've listened to him before in the Unbound series and it's it's really cool I think David Warner and her have a lot of chemistry and uh, it's uh, it gives them an opportunity to try something different because they're not tied down to any kind of continuity or or dare I say the bad canon word uh, it's uh, it's 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 free to do what they want to do without worrying about what it affects. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, it also, they have the opportunity to do four separate stories rather than uh, four parts that are one big story. So they, um, they have a little fun with that. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it overall very much. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, it was very funny when it needed to be. And I, I can't really say anything negative about it. Are we rating now? Um, yeah, go ahead and give a rating, please. I'll give it a nine. Thanks, a nine for Tim. And uh, so the, the, the one who got us the, the, the Lisa Bowerman shout out is Jeffrey Keep and Beef Dad. And we'd like to know what you thought of this, please. And, uh, and thank you again for, for getting us that. Hmm. Well, this was recommended to me by Lisa herself at the Time Lash event in Germany. Um, and she said I would enjoy it. And she was absolutely right. It doesn't disappoint. I mean, she's been playing Bernice Summerfield for almost 20 years now. But the pairing of her and David Warner is just absolutely magical. It, it is just such a joy. Um, they bounce off of each other absolutely perfectly. Um, the first story about the library and the Kareem trying to destroy the library. Apparently the writer um, wrote it almost as a, as a send up of Isis who go around destroying all the beautiful things um, like Palmyra. Um, and of course these people, the Kareem believe that knowledge is the most dangerous and evil thing in the universe and they are trying to destroy it. And what I love are the singing nuns, um, talk about sound and music, but, um, you have, Rowena Cooper playing the mother superior and she is superb and they sing numbers because the saint that they worship 
who it turns out later was quite fond of a drink or two. Um, she's uh, she was a mathematician, and everything worked in the universe by numbers for her. By seeing these numbers, they can change things, and it's just just a brilliant concept. Loved it. Um, the second story. Um, ah, yeah, Planet X, a planet so boring that no one's even bothered to name uh, to name it. Um, everybody's numbered. Uh, there's a girl in it um, whose name gets shortened by Bernice to Millie because she's girl something like uh, ten million nine hundred fifty thousand six hundred forty-two and a half. Um, but she calls her Millie for short, which is brilliant. And even the prime ministers are numbered. But the thing is, the prime minister. It's basically, but basically, they're just holding the planet back with the way they're doing things, and that gets changed when something unpleasant happens. Then, fourth, the third story: the world of tr tramats. <laughs> Sometimes the gravity doesn't work. The rivers sing. There's unicorns. I mean, for God's sake. But these are not nice unicorns. These are evil unicorns. Um, and it's it's just <laughs> it's been, should we say, altered by um, a weapon. And it turns out that as far as the time war is concerned, in this reality, the Tramats were the worst ones in it basically I suppose similar to the Daleks and the Time War in our universe um, but the Tramats um, have no idea that they were um, basically the, you know, the worst people in the war and the worst enemy of everybody and so when uh, a ship comes and tries to talk to them about it, they haven't any idea what's going on. <laughs> and it's wonderful. They're, they're, they're also totally spaced and weird. It's, it's just brilliantly done. A uh, lovely concept. Absolutely adored it. And, of course, the final story is it's the end of the universe, supposedly. Um... And so what's happened? Someone's opened a big shop and they're having a sale. But the thing is, what they're trying to do is buy lottery to escape from the universe via the manager's portal. But the manager turns out not to be who, he, who everyone thinks he is. He's someone else entirely. He is the master of the master of this particular um, universe. Um, nasty. Um, enjoys his champagne. Um, and the whole idea of sending people through this portal is to create energy not to save them and the energy <coughs> is what is going to save him um, uh, excellent concept brilliantly executed music throughout all four was brilliant direction superb <coughs> as I say David Warner what a brilliant doctor what a shame we never got David Warner as a doctor on the television I would that I would pay good money to see and Lisa Bowerman well 
She's been doing it for 20 years. She's got it right. It is so good. It is just so good. And in this one, the, the doctor's a bit, hmm, when it all starts. And she really um, pops off, well, considering the time of year, um, Guy Fawkes and everything. She shoves the cracker up his bum and gets him moving. And it is just absolutely brilliant. It really is. I, I just love every minute of this. And there was one slow bit, and that's why it gets a nine and a half from me. Thanks, Beef Dad. Nine and a half. Excellent review, man. Um, and we're going to go to Lee. What did you think of this, Mr. Wilson? Um, well, I've got to agree with everyone who said um, David Warner's portrayal of the Doctor. I've, I've loved it since he, he did it back in 2003. Um, it, it, as I say, it's a missed opportunity there. We could have, we could have had him. He would have been a brilliant Doctor. Um, working alongside Lisa Bowman. Bowman Benny. I just love, I just love Benny. Sarcastic, witty, funny. And as you say, loves a bit, loves a bit of drink. Um, it's, it's awesome. Um, and we say we also get uh, Matt Gattis, or what do you call it, um, Sam Kisgat playing the master again. Brilliant. Um, out, the four stories really do work well. Uh, for me, though, there was there was a weak story for me, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the first one, the library of the body. I just the, as beef, the singing nuns. <laughs> I, just, I just think that every opportunity that they're singing those numbers, very reminiscent though of Legopolis with the numbers, and very similar sort of theme of of sympathy for the devil, where they had to keep um, was it the ends humming, something like that. Yeah, very reminiscent of that. Um, just brilliant. Like I said the mother superior, Rowena Cooper in that is just. And then you, you say Planet X. This this Planet X is one of the favourites. It's just a boring planet. Beige, you know, you're going to have to wear beige, wear grey. If you wear any of those things like that, yeah, punishable by death or lobotomy. Um, it's just, it, it's just, I didn't say the doctor didn't want to go there. Choose any, any planet out of those three you can go to. <laughs> planet X, so dull, no one named it, but I, I do love this story. It's, it's, it's very, very funny. Uh, then you get the very dark thing. Um, I said Beef Dad liked it. I wasn't so keen. Um, it, didn't, it didn't grab me as much as the first two, to be honest. Um, it was good writing, good acting, you know, singing, singing rivers and unicorns, as you say. But I did seem to lose a bit of interest in it as it was going along. Uh, but as I said, I can't knock the acting. And then we get the Emporium at the end. Uh, a very, very simple story. It's it's not a, hard to understand this one. You know, he's, he's stealing memories and energy and he's putting them through the portal for, to create energy for himself. Um, it's just told so well. And it is good to see Macatis' take on the Master again. Um, uh, they say David Warner finally gets his Sonic Screwdriver back in this. So it's and the Mother Superior returns with the singing nuns. Yes, and and she like and she does like a tipple. You know, say when a little bit more, a little bit more. Keep going. <laughs> Brilliant. But all in all, it's a very good box set. But just to say, the very dark thing, it just didn't do it for me. So on that and. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Just, you know, just third story, just a one power for me. An 8.5 for Lee. And let me see. Uh, I, I, I love the way my, my fellow podcasters have described this thing. And I can't really add much more to that except for um, I want my own unicorn. And um, I, 
I, I think that we should review uh, Sound of Music because of the singing nuns. I, I got, I caught, I caught that, um, and um, they also reminded me of the the cats who tended tended people, the nurse cats. Um, there was just a lot of reminders of different things. Um, I I enjoy David Warner's per, uh, portrayal of the doctor a lot, and. Bernie Summerfield is becoming one of my all-time favorite story uh, story arcs. She's she's always, you know, pushing herself and pushing the people around her into uh, a better place, a more excellent place. Like she is actually the empowering one in this. The doctor is is sort of a. a you know, a powerful figure, but not not kind of empowering. Bernice Benny is super power empowering. She's she's the one who's generating other people's character arcs, other people's you know expression of of who they are, and that's cool for an archaeologist, someone who's stuck in the past to push people forward. Amazing. Anyway, I know that that's just because she's been doing it for twenty years, but. Lisa Bowerman, boy, she nails it. Bam. I mean, it's just, you know, it's glorious. And Mark Gaddis is the the wonderful master. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, I, I recognize this, this character without even, the manager has got to be the master. Anyway, that was that was super cool, and um, so I will wait for one of one of our viewers to send me send me my very own unicorn. Uh, um, and um, before I open the floor to everybody, oh, I'll give it I'll give it a nine out of ten. That that's what I'll give it. Okay, so before I open the floor to everybody, um, I'd like to go around and ask you this question. If um, you had only heard of, uh, if, if, if David Warner and Lisa Bowerman were your first doctor companion, what would you think of the, the whole start? I mean, it, you know, I know that you've got all this backlog, but what would you think of it if if they were your first two Doctor Companion and and I guess Mark Gatiss is Master? What would you think? Um, let's start with Lee. Let's start and go backwards. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd be up for that. It's, yeah, I wouldn't see anything wrong in that. I mean, David Warner and this man said they worked so well together. If that was my first experience of the world of Doctor Who, I would want more of those that team up. I would love another season or two seasons. Uh, you know, it's um, and the right to say if the writing's as good as this, oh yeah, I'll be up for that. Beef Dad, what would you think? They pull you in. They pull you in. And you find yourself absolutely loving the pairing. And when you do that, you, get, you start to get involved with them and the characters. Um, so, yeah, I think it would, it would be a pull-in and definitely a fan of it. Awesome, uh, Tim. What would you What would you think if you got uh, if this was your first experience of Doctor Who, your first Doctor, your first companion? Well, it's nearly an impossible question to ask because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I will ditto exactly what Beef Dad and Lee said. Um, I agree with both of them. I mean, th this is a this is a very good set, and it does pull you in. I think newer fans tend to overcomplicate things by looking at it too hard. Doctor Who is Doctor Who. You don't need to have it all in order. It doesn't all have to make sense. I mean, you have so many doctors now. Kudos to Big Finish for creating another doctor 
you know, on the side that we can all listen to and enjoy. This is like six adventures for him now over, over a decade, I guess. And um, how cool is that? So, I mean, and, and like we said, the chemistry between the two, in spite of their, their real life adventures, um, is awesome. This is a great team. This is a great team. And they just meet in this box set, too. Benny has no knowledge of this doctor before now. He doesn't know her. He, he finds her name and goes and, and basically kidnaps her. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a cool set. So, I mean, it, it's just hard to say what you would think if this was the first set you got or the first time you experienced Doctor Who. But I could say it's very good, and I want to hear more. Yeah, I, 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 I completely agree. So, um that's pretty unanimous. Uh, so let's uh, let's throw open the floor. Is there anything else anybody wants to say about this set or or that? Well, well um, I, I do like the <laughs> I do like the idea of the Doctor has got rid of all the bad people in the universe, and so they've put him upon a plane. The, and gave him, he's the ruler of the universe now, because there's no more bad people. <laughs> I love that idea. <laughs> I just, that is awesome. But also, going back to that question, what you just said, I do wish Big Finish would do, I know they brought David Warner, but there's the other doctors that did in the Unbound universe, um, Derek Jacobi, uh, David Collins, uh, who was, um, I can't remember the others now, what was it? Um, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bla Bladen? Bladen. Uh, Bladen, yeah. Um, it, would be lo lovely, it would be lovely to hear them again, them again play the Doctor again. Um, I mean, David Collins' take on that Doctor was awesome. I mean, pretty bad ending, but he was awesome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's... Let's say this set, though, is a good, good beginning. As I say, he could have chosen any companion, but he went and got Benny. Hmm. He, could, he could have got, he could have got, gone, you know, got Ace. Could have gone and got Tegan. Um, he, to be fairly, he doesn't know any of them. He, he, he didn't he get Benny's name from a book and he or something? It's or from somewhere. He, he, he thought that she would anchor him to her universe. That's what she, he was trying to do yeah. to escape that that what do you call it alternate universe? And yeah. it didn't work. So, I mean, the cool thing is, though, they are going to continue with this in the next set, I believe. It's going to be in the next set of Bernice Summerfield's New Adventures. It's going to be the same setup. I think it's, I think it's cool because it's a brand new TARDIS team, really, if you think about it, even though it's, it's, it's older characters. So that's cool. Yeah, that's why I asked the question, actually, because I, I had the feeling that it would continue on. Go on. Go on. Be yeah, I'd be fascin I'm, I'm fascinated to find out how they get back from the of the universe. Well, the question is, can he? He's an alternate universe doctor. He doesn't belong in ours. He I know. In that, that, that's, that, that's what's fascinating me. It's, it's really getting my juices flowing now. <laughs> trying to, try to work yeah. this out. How, is he going to come back with her? Is he going to bring her back? Because he must, he came to this unit, to our universe anyway, mm. yes. to kidnap her. Yeah, yeah, but there might be consequences if he does come back to the proper universe. If yeah. ever the other doctors turn up, there could be some, some all, there. all sorts of timey wimey problems. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then that that might make an interesting storyline. Yeah. Uh, timey wimey problems. Yeah, John Pertwee or, or Tim Trelawer or, or whatever, who, whoever would be doing the the proper universe third doctor it would it would be funny to 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 pit those two or to put pit david warner against tom baker because you know the the third his third doctor started in the 80s or 70s yeah he already has been against tom baker he's playing a different part so well i oh, mean yeah. like yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. really Cuthbert, yeah Cuthbert, yeah, yeah. There's, there's there's so many possibilities in the who universe that's the wonderful thing about it so, yeah, I, as I say, I'm really, really looking forward to finding out what happens next. Well, I, I think, like Lee said, also, it's, it's, if this set was popular, and I think it has been, um, maybe they will bring back some of the other Unbound Doctors with some, somebody else and do some different kind of stories. It's hard to say. I mean, this yeah. was 
this is essentially Benny's box. So I mean, he's a guest star on that, and that makes it that's that's a that's a cool thing to do. It, it really opens up the possibilities of what what they can do with both characters. Excuse me. I'll I'll be honest. I haven't heard any of the Jeffrey uh, any Jeffrey Bowden. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he did. He did. He did two. Although I do, I, I remember him way back in the 70s as Cat Weasel. He'll yeah. always be Cat Weasel to me, I don't yeah, know why. His, 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 he was the sort of, he, he took on the role of the first Doctor in the two audios he did with Caroline Ford. Um, said that David Collins did one, uh, Derek Jacobi did one, that was a very strange one. And mm. we, all, we also had um, a female Doctor, and I can't remember the actress who played her. Oh, yeah. Because David Tennant was in that audio as well. Well, um, it was she was a comedian. I <laughs> but uh, Tim might know. Was that female doctor <laughs> in the Unbound the Universe? Who uh, was the, the, Arabella Weir. Oh, yeah. yeah, Arabella yeah. Weir. Yeah, she's a brilliant comedian. She's she's one of the fun one of the funniest comedy actresses on British television. Yeah, but yeah, I can I can imagine Arabella Weir playing the Doctor. <laughs> yeah, I can. But uh, yeah, but the, the, this one, this box set, what a, what a piece of magic, really. And it's worked so well. It's it's just been a joy to listen to. Yeah, um, I I'm really grateful for you guys. You know listening to it and coming and, and sharing your, your wonderful wit and wisdom about it. It was great. It, and um, so I just, uh, have, is there anything left to say, anybody? Just go out there and listen to it. Yeah. Give yeah. It, give it a chance. Give it a chance. Yeah, you can buy it da on a download for 25 euros. I don't know what that is in pounds. Probably pounds. about <laughs> Probably about twenty something pounds, twenty to twenty one. I believe, I believe in the U.S. for a download is probably like twenty to twenty five dollars. I'd have to look. Yeah, right. I mean, it's 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 really worth it. It's worth it for four. Uh, where else would you get four hours of sheer entertainment for that sort of money? Takes you. It just takes you places where you've never been before. Yeah. Oh. All right. So. Uh, in in two weeks, uh, in, in a fortnight, we have a we'll have another audio heads. Um, in the meantime, we'll just we'll, we'll decide which what what which way and what we're gonna do. But um, I'd like to to thank you for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe and uh, and leave comments. All your 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 uh, ideas about the Unbound Universe, Bernice Summerfield, the actors, Mark Gatiss as the master, uh, just the, just lay it all in the comment section and, um, and do come back in a fortnight. And uh, thanks for listening and watching Geeks Assembled. All of our podcasts are are um are fun to watch and we are we've been doing a lot of uh spooky things we did we did the creep show and we did the birds and we did um we've done we've uh, we've reviewed quite a few uh spooky things recently so please enjoy the the spooky part of this and and uh and and uh also Join us on social media. We have a Facebook group, and we have, uh, and we'd love to have you. And and all, and please enjoy our, our all of our podcasts. And uh, thanks for watching.